In a new video by Brave New Films, a man who's been a military interrogator for 14 years has undermined one of former Vice President Dick Cheney's key arguments defending Bush administration torture techniques. The interrogator says that the use of torture has cost, quote, hundreds, if not thousands, of American lives. The interrogator, who uses the name Matthew Alexander, says he oversaw more than 1,000 interrogations, personally conducting more than 300 in Iraq. Alexander says in his interview, quote, torture does not save lives, and the reason why is that our enemies use it, number one, as a recruiting tool. Alexander says that many of those captured in Iraq say they joined the fight against the United States because of the torture conducted at Abu Ghraib and Guantanamo Bay. Alexander said, quote, at the prison where I conducted interrogations, we heard day in and day out. Foreign fighters who had been captured state that the number one reason that they had come to fight in Iraq was because of torture and abuse. What had happened at Guantanamo Bay and Abu Ghraib. He went on to say, quote, the American principles of freedom and democracy are cherished in the Muslim world, and the idea, at least, of America is still a seductive one. But torture and abuse undercuts that image, allowing al-Qaeda to make the argument that America isn't what it stands for. One of al-Qaeda's goals is to prove that we're hypocrites, that we don't live up to American principles. So when we use torture and abuse, we're playing directly into one of their stated goals.